Hi, and welcome to the installation tutorial of your new Infinity 200 Pro and the iControl software. You will have one of the six application tailored configurations that are available. Four monochromator-based and two filter-based devices to give you high-quality solutions for absorbance, fluorescence and luminescence measurements. And useful accessories like the NanoQuant plate, the cuvette port or injector modules give you even more great tools for the lab. The iControl software helps you to control your instrument. Let's get started. The Infinity 200 Pro comes in a crate like this one. Be sure to check for any damages upon arrival. Carefully remove the device. The additional package includes power cable, USB cable, cuvette adapter, injector dummy, an Allen key and relevant product documentation. The USB stick contains the iControl software and further operating instructions. Depending on your order, the injector module comes in a separate box. If you think anything is damaged, please refer to our help desk. Firstly, you'll need to install the iControl software. Start by plugging in the USB drive and transfer the setup file to your PC. Open the iControl setup file. Use an account with full administrator rights to install the software. Then follow the installation wizard instructions. Click OK to continue. Either install it for just your user or for everybody on this computer. Choose a language and then click OK to save in the default file directory. Once you've successfully installed the instrument software, you can now move on to the hardware installation. Start by removing the transport locks with the Allen key provided. Remove the blue tape from the instrument. Open the plate carrier door by pulling on the red tag and carefully remove the screws that secure the lock to the instrument housing. Pull out the plate carrier and then remove the screws that secure the lock to the plate transport. Save the transport locks in case you need them again to transport your instrument. To connect to your PC, take the USB cable and connect it to your device. The other end goes into your PC. And then connect the power cable. If you have an injector module, make sure your instrument is switched off. Put the injector module onto your device and connect it with the cable that we've provided. Never connect or disconnect the injector module while the instrument is turned on. Before using the injector, remove the dummy and insert the rod. You'll find details instructions on how to use the injector module in the manual. Turn on your instrument with the power switch. Now we're going to demonstrate the first steps of a measurement. Open the iControl software and connect it to your device. Check this box to reconnect to the instrument at the next startup. First of all, we need to define the measurement parameters. Choose the correct plate definition for the plate you're using and the plate area you would like to measure. New actions can be added to the method by dragging and dropping from the menu on the left-hand side of your screen. First, we want to shake our plate, setting the desired duration and intensity. Depending on your configuration, the Infinity 200 can have up to three measurement modes. Absorbance, fluorescence and luminescence. For this demonstration, we want to measure absorbance. We can choose a measurement wavelength and reference wavelength if desired. For filter-based instruments, define the filter you want to use for the measurement. Note that the measurement parameters are processed in a hierarchical manner from top to bottom. Last, we want the plate to be moved out of the instrument. The Infinity 200 Pro also has temperature control. You can preheat your instrument in the instrument settings if you need to. And if you're using an injector module, you can control it here. Sometimes, you may want to set your assay to run over a certain length of time. You can do so by using the kinetic cycle parameter. And then you can save your settings as a template for future experiments. Now that we have defined our parameters, we can look at the measurement. Move the plate carrier out using the software or by pushing this button. 
put the plate on the carrier in the correct orientation and move the plate back in. Now we are ready to start the measurement. The iControl software will export your data to an Excel file that you can save to view and analyse your data at any time. If you need any further help, please find detailed instructions in the manual or on the USB drive. And please do not hesitate to refer to our help desk experts.